Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to art. Just making my way back to base. I was out doing some loot drop runs. Trying to find us either a Rex saddle or an Allosaur saddle blueprint because we do got the boss fight coming up soon. And all we have now is primitive saddles for him. Kind of worried, not gonna lie. Mainly because we are doing the alpha versions of the bosses. But didn't find one. That <laughs> kind of sucks. I found some other good blueprints and some other good items. But the main thing I found that I'm heading back to base to get stuff for is I want to tame something. So I found another Quetzal. Not just a normal one, it's a tech one. It is a level 174 and it's all chrome with like black accents. I don't know, man. It's kind of the, one of the craziest ones I've seen and I definitely want to keep it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, drop off the Pterodon. I've got quite a bit of loot, like I said, from doing the drop runs. Some good blueprints and stuff like that. Or not blueprints, but items. We'll make it a blueprints later. However, we're going to kind of tame this a little bit different. Now, we have the net launcher. It does work on a Quetzal. And we do have the bat to make stuff super easy because we can shoot off of it. But I want to tame it the old school way. <laughs> it's it's kind of fun that way. What we do is we jump on the Argentavis. We take the Argentavis over to where it's at. We will jump off the Argentavis. Shoot it with a crossbow that we were attached to it. And that's kind of how you fly around and use your long neck to shoot it with tranks. I know, man. I know. It's kind of weird. But that is definitely my favorite way of doing it. We are taking Wingman for sure. And I tell you what, for all of our stuff... Can we put blueprints in here? We can. I'll leave everything right here. That way I can check it out whenever we come back. Because like I said, some stuff we will be making into blueprints. I want to make sure it's not something that we already have. And we'll kind of sort that out. I want to kind of jump on this pretty quick. Because I don't want something to happen to that Quetzal. I just saw him when I was doing some of the drop runs. So we're good on, I think, everything else. Gonna need some of these. I really need to make some more darts. Tell you what. It's me. We're shooting from an Argentavis. Let's go ahead and just make sure we take, <laughs> take enough, man. I don't want to run out midway through, you know? All right, so we're going to need you. Let's get rid of these. I think I might stop keeping those on my hotbar. I don't use them as much as I used to. Maybe we'll start putting things like this down there instead. And then we're going to need... I think I need to make another... Oh, we're not taking the net launcher. We're not taking it, so we don't need it. We need a crossbow. We've got this one. It's already set up. Put you there. And then I think I need to make some of the grapples. I don't. We've got plenty. So that should work there. We've got the darts. We've got plenty of ammo. Brought a lot over from Extinction, so we're good on that. I think we're set. Let's reload this. i tell you what. What we might do... I really want to do it with the Argentavis. But in case stuff goes wrong, maybe I'll take the bat just as backup. Because regardless, I really, really want this Quetzal. Junior! Yeah, it's you. <laughs> I wasn't sure which one. Want to go on an adventure? Possibly, maybe, for today? Let's, uh, unhitch you. Which one is it? We'll unhitch both of them. It'll be fine. And I'll take him just in case. He'll be back up. And how are you looking? Stamina's okay. It's not too bad. So, what we do here, it's pretty simple. Since we have Wingman, we don't need a parachute in case we fall off and miss the grapple. But what we'll do is we'll get up there to where the Kessel's at. And I'll show you right here. We will jump off. Shoot our bird, which we did a horrible job at there. And then we'll whistle for the Argentavis to attack the... To attack the Kessel, right? And it'll follow it when it gets close. We'll whistle for it to be passive. It has been a long time. Yep. Oh, dude, this might not... Yeah, we'll try one more time. This might not go so well. It's a it's a whole timing thing. Oh, wait, I guess I could use... Oh, we could cheat and use Wingman. Ah, that's what we'll do. It'll make it a little bit easier. That way we can attach to it, because it's kind of hard, man. You jump off, you've only got a second or two to attach it to the cats or to the Argentavis before you fall too far. That's a whole reason to carry a parachute, but since we have Wingman, we can use him to kind of hover there. And kind of do it that way. It's a little bit cheaper than doing it the normal way. But it'll work out. So let's get up here. We'll try to find the Quetzal. It's over where... Kind of like the autumn looking area is, right? With all the kind of orange and yellow trees. Kind of where we found the Fjord Hawks. And we'll go ahead and get him tamed up. Hopefully nothing bothers us over there. I know on the ground. It's kind of sketchy. There are some beauties. That is a fantastic looking Spino. Level 100 too! Hmm. I have to remember that. <laughs> we are in the market for some of the Paleo Spinals here soon. But all right, let's get up here before something happens and we'll try to get this guy tamed up. 
All right, so we got all of our stamina back. I don't see him. He was right up over here. See, that's what I'm worried about, man. There's so much of the Argentavis and stuff over here. I don't want to accidentally get aggro from something and then drag it on to where we're going to be doing taming at. The cool part is we'll be in the air, uh, I mean, until he drops. Then I'm kind of worried. I probably should have brought the cat with us, just in case. Oh, there he is there. I mean, look at the colors, man. He's like all kind of like chrome looking. And then he's got black on his wings and like a, I don't know if that's dark blue or purple. But oh, man, it looks so nice, dude. And it's a level 174. I think that's max level or is 180 max level with the tech creatures. I don't know. So let's try this. We need to get somewhat close to him. I'll try it without using Wingman the first time, just to see if I can still do it like the uh, the old ways. I don't know, it used to be my favorite way for trapping Quetzals. Alright, let's get up close. Oh, waited too long! Yep, easy, Wingman got me. <laughs> I didn't have the crossbow selected. It's fine, it's fine. It'll still work like we're, we're supposed to. Getting dizzy spinning around though. There we go. Alright, so... Get him to attack there. That'll get us close. Whistle passive. And then start tranking him. Don't tell me what knocked you out, I was gonna say. Alright, buddy, get a little closer. A little bit closer. I should reel my line in a little bit. But it'll be fine. We'll get him close. You gotta take what he is moving, man. Holy crap, dude. Alright, passive, passive. Easy, easy. Yep. That's so why you bring a lot of darts, man. Nice, nice. Shouldn't take too many. We do have our decent rifle with us, so... A couple more of these and we should be good. Super hard to hit them when they're moving, though. I'm just super nervous about what's gonna be down there... ...whenever we... ...we get them to drop. I'd prefer for them to drop over here in... ...this biome than in the snow. In the snow, we got the wolves and stuff, man. Nice, nice. Hurry up and reload, man. We can probably get one more before he gets too far away. Stop reloading! There we go. <laughs> you can't let him get too far away, it messes it all up. Yep. Totally turn directions. I, 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 let's not talk about it. He was like right in front of me. Looking to land, buddy? Nice, man, nice! Oh, I thought he was dropping. Hopefully his colors are what I think they are whenever we get him tamed. Sometimes they're, uh, they look different, you know? I didn't get a very, very close look at him. Surprised that one actually hit him. But yeah, if you reel your lineup on the Argentavis, it definitely helps out a lot. Keeps you uh, pretty close to him, you know? There we go. Dude, he's taking quite a few of these darts. Go ahead and reel ourselves in. I keep talking about it, and I'm trying to, uh... Alright, passive. There we go. I just want to keep us close enough and try to keep the Torpor up on him. But see, it's a lot easier whenever you're kind of re reeled up on the... on the bird. It's like a balancing act. Oh, he's out! Oh, fantastic! Okay. Follow him down, buddy. Follow him down. Tell you what. Let's do... Let's do this. Follow me, buddy! We got Wingman. Wingman! Oh, dude, please don't let me down. There we go. I mean, let me down, but gently. Yep, okay, I hear you. That's what I'm worried about. Okay, okay. Oh, I thought he was hitting the bird. What, what was that? Another Dillo? It is. Please tell me I did not hit that, that Quetzal. If it did, it's gonna mess up everything. Oh, we got the stupid little Fjord Hawks over here, too. Yep, got a Carno. I hear you stomping. You know what I totally forgot to bring? Oh, I totally forgot to bring some Narcotics Man. Alright, let's check this to see if we messed up the team. I think we might have. We didn't! Oh, fantastic! Okay, cool. So, hmm. Let's, uh... Yep, I hear you. Well, I tell you what, we need to clean all this stuff out. I'll just pick you up. That way... There's a lot of lag there. That way I don't accidentally hit... ...the Quetzal. We are super close to him. Still good. Okay. 
I keep hearing that fjord hog eating stuff, and I keep thinking that it's something attacking a Quetzal. All right. Are we good? Are we all right? You're not fine. You guys are annoying. Let's go ahead and pick you up. What have you got? Nothing important. And then let's split out. Let's do five. So it goes into there. Ah, uh, dude, we are not in a good spot here. I need to need to double check around. Man, I wish I would have brought the cat. I would have felt a lot better if we had the Ethyla with us. Buddy! Everything safe around here? I'll protect you if you protect me. Just saying. We'll work as a team here. <laughs> Take a look at this guy's colors while he's taking a nap here. Ah, uh, dude, look at him, man. Fantastic looking. I've never seen one that had like an all chrome looking body like that. Kind of neat. And then I thought it was black. Well, I mean, it's black on his wings. But I think that's kind of default. It's like a dark blue color, too, I think. I don't know, man. I like it, though. I definitely wanted to grab it. And I wouldn't mind finding another tech one because it got the higher levels and stuff. I know we have the ones back at base that we just did breeding on and stuff like that. But, I mean, you never have enough teams, right? We got all these little birds around, like little mosquitoes, looking for stuff for us to kill so they can munch on it. What levels are they? <gasps> terrifying sound! Super terrifying sound! Please do not mess up my team! Where's it at? Oh, dude, and we got fear roared! We got to. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Can't, uh. <gasps> Get off my Ketzel! What? Tell you what? Where'd your little buddies at, uh huh? Yeah, that's why I should have brought my cat. Reload. Always oh, reloading. Where's your other one? There's another one, right? Back up. We're good. We all right? Everybody fine? Holy crap, dude. Lost my bat. Let's reload. <laughs> Just in case. Oh, dude, please team up fast. What is your... Where you at? Oh, this is going to take quite a while. I need to put one more into him. Just as a buffer. Let's see what let's do too. We got plenty, man. We got plenty. I got a lot of them back at base. Let's put put the gun away. I don't want to accidentally shoot him. All right. So where's my bad at? I don't want to leave this guy too far, buddy. You're supposed to be protecting me. We talked about this. Uh -huh. I almost punched him. <laughs> that would not have been good. So the bat. Hmm. He went on a on a flyabout. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where he went. I don't want to go far because everything that's around here And I didn't bring another saddle for the Quetzal. I planned on getting back to base safely Junior I'll tell you what such a scaredy cat a Yudi yells at him for five seconds and he goes flying halfway across the map Hopefully I don't need to install another dino tracker mod because I have no idea where he went well, uh, we'll look for him afterwards, though. Why are you running? What are you running from? I'll tell you what. So it's supposed to be a nice, somewhat easy team today. Turned out to be pretty stressful. Just saying. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and make some spike walls. Would you back up, please? That's my kill, not yours. I'll tell you what. It is so hard to get hide when the Fjordhawks keep eating all of my kills. Yep, serves you right. Get your snout out of there. A little beak poking in. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, see, there's another Carno down there. Dude, there's, there's so much stuff around here. All right, where are we at? I need a couple more of the spike walls. I hate the S plus ones because I don't like them clipping together all the time. I want to be able to set them out where I want. But I think one more here and then maybe some more on the sides. I kind of, kind of have them pinned in there. Buddy, don't hit those. It's going to poke your face. Just saying. Trying to tell you, didn't want to listen. I'm worried about something four-wheel driving up over the the rocks here. So that the car knows run sometimes, you know? I think we might be good, though. Maybe, maybe one more right here. Just to keep stuff off. And he should be closed in. Nice, nice. Ah, dude. And then we got a couple narco berries, too, just in case. I don't think we're going to need it. But, dude, he's only at 40%. That's what kind of, kind of has me worried some. Let's land the bird here. We can keep an eye on him. Still never found the bat. Went out looking. Have no idea what happened to him. And you should have. Oh, easy. Yep. Something to worry about. 
<laughs> he should have. Oh, he's got five left. He's fine, man. He's fine. There's plenty in there for him. He is at almost half on his unconsciousness. Kind of has me worried. I don't want to have to use Narco Berries if I don't need to because it kind of messes up the attainment effectiveness. But we'll see, man. We'll see. At least we're somewhat protected now. For the most part. Other than these mosquitoes that keep flying around. I don't worry about that Carno that was over here. Anyway, we'll leave him alone. He leaves us alone, we'll leave him alone. Nice, man. Nice! Oh, dude, I am so glad we got him without any problems. So, let's go ahead. I'll probably leave this trap here, just because. Let's go ahead and pick you up. We'll take a look at that in a minute. I want to see if we can find our bat. If so... It'll be super simple getting back to base. We'll be able to just teleport back. I might have to install the Dino Tracker mod again. <laughs> just because. I mean, he was running, man. That was at the start of his his fear roar that he got. And I have no idea where he's at. He's on passive as well. So that's the main thing I'm kind of worried about with him, right? I mean, that and it's daytime, you know. He's usually sleeping. He's probably just all disoriented. Poor little guy, man. <laughs> we'll look for a second and then... If anything, I might come back later looking for him. I have no idea. There's no telling where he would have went. And Whistling obviously isn't doing much for him. I had to kill off all those Fjord Hawks, man. I had three of them on me. And those things, dude, I'll tell you what, they are a pain. I wish there was a way to unselect the taming process, right? So whenever you start taming something and it pops up in here, you can't remove it until that creature is dead or tamed, which kind of sucks because I know whenever I first came to this map, I had a Fjord Hawk on there that says it was in the process of taming for like multiple in-game days and I had to do a dino wipe to get rid of it just because I couldn't find it but I have no idea where the bat is we'll, we'll just leave him for now it's not too big of a deal because I mean we've got we got a breeding pair right so it's not that big if we do lose him I mean I kind of like the guy he has our very very good saddle like a 300% saddle that I looted that he's wearing but, I mean it's fine though it's fine let's go ahead and pick this guy up we are gonna head back to base and get a saddle and take a look at this Quetzal so where's he there we go Back up, man. I don't want nothing to do with you guys. Alright. So we... <laughs> we gained a team, but we lost a team. I got Wingman. That's all that matters. Alright, so let's... uh First things first, let's get a saddle. So we got this one. I'll tell you what, let's get rid of all this junk first. Should be a little bit lighter. We are. There we go. Let's go ahead and put stuff back in the refrigerator. Where is... There we go. Put that in there. I really, really need to make some more of those those darts. We're down on 58 of them now. And then... Let's get this out. Kind of expensive. It is Mastercraft, but like I said, man, we went back to the old way of doing it with stuff, so is what it is. It is... Oh my gosh. That is super expensive. It's fine. It's fine. We will go ahead and make it. Dude, that is a ton of resources. It's a pretty good saddle, though, so, I mean, it's fine. I'll take you and you. Let's put our blueprint back. Keep everything in, in place, man. It took forever getting everything sorted out. And let's grab a little bit of paint. Very nice. All right, let's throw Junior out. Don't be offended. I brought you a friend, not a replacement. Just remember that. <laughs> I don't want any problems here, base. All right, well, actually, let's do it like this first. I want to take a look at his color color pattern. So, yeah, it's kind of weird, man. I don't know. It's almost like the region fields for that one. That's how that one kind of, whenever I changed it over from a tech one to a R version, I think that's what I did, and it had a kind of same color scheme as this. But we've got 39 on the health. 42 on the stamina, fantastic, 35 on the weight, and 46 on damage. Holy crap, those are very, very good stats. Comes out to 8,900 on the health, 2,480 on the stamina, weight is 1,360, and 425 on the damage, 136.5 movement speed. That thing would be a beast if we bred it, which we will probably end up doing. Let's go ahead and give you this. A nice new saddle for you. We're not going to put any points into it yet. Ah, dude, that is fantastic looking, man. I really like the chrome looking body. It's kind of neat. Let's get out here in the sun. Getting kind of late in the day. Kind of hard to see. Ah, uh, dude, I like it, man. I like it. Yeah, it was uh, it was just flying over. It was kind of shining. I was like, man, that can't be a 
chrome looking body on the Quetzal, and it is. I mean, it's got a little bit of a blue tint to it, I think, right? Because of the color field, but for the most part, buddy, buddy, right here, I'm, I'm looking at that end. You don't need to do that. But yeah, for the most part, it's kind of chrome looking. I like it, man. I like it. Oh, dude, we got to find another one now and do some breeding with it. I know we just did Quetzal breeding not too long ago, but that wasn't a max level one whenever we tamed it out. Let's take a look real quick. But you just hang tight there, man. Don't break the glass. Shouldn't be running on glass, just saying. So this one was 33 health. 36, 42, 36. Okay, so it's almost the same. A little bit different. But that's that's bread stats, right? That's not wild either. And the wild version was. Oh, we don't even get to see. Because it was bread. Hmm. So that's kind of crazy. It has. A little bit lower stats being bred than that one does wild. Oh, dude. I definitely gotta keep an eye out for another one. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be high level or not. We can always breed the stats over and stuff. I mean, it kind of sucks doing that, but I'll definitely keep my eye out. Well, not too bad of a day. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take a look at our stuff. I totally forgot about the blueprints and stuff I looted while I found the Tech Quetzal. Well, I'll tell you what. Getting all stuck in the base. Alright, so what I ended up getting on our little trip before I found the Quetzal, we've got a very nice Volanosaur saddle, so we'll make that into a blueprint for sure. Oh, I need to paint it. Let's uh, grab some paint. We'll do this real quick. Not there. Here we go. I do need to find a Volanosaur still. I will paint you, and that'll be a very good saddle for us. Hopefully it won't be too expensive. It probably will, though. And then, I mean, it's not too bad. That's actually fairly cheap. We've got a nice little Pterodon saddle. We've got a Sarko saddle. We've got one for one of the kangaroos, which is kind of neat. Haven't seen one of those in a very long time. I think I have a better sword one. I want to take a look at that. That's going to be for the grinder. That's for the grinder. And then the Dunkle and Iguanodon. So yeah, most of these I'm going to have to kind of compare. And then we've got one for a Mantis. I think I have a better one. And then Apache Rhino. And then I think I have a better one of these and that sword and that... And then we got the Dunkle Blueprint. So yeah, I'll go through and kind of sort these out some. Kind of compare what we have, what we don't. And then drop this stuff. I already saw we have a better one of these. And of those. But that's what I've been doing with stuff, man. It kind of makes it a little bit easier. And then that way, having everything on this map, we'll grind it up. That's got really good resources. And we'll get our get our stuff back together. No Rex or Allosaur Blueprints. Kind of has me worried. But, I mean, we'll do it with Primitive if we have to. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our little Tech Quetzal, man. Like I said, it kind of came out of nowhere. Didn't plan on taming it, but that's the best way to tame something, man. You just kind of see it, not have a plan, and kind of go from there. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.